So we're going to turn this into something like this. This is applicable in any video conference platform in PC and today I'm going to teach you how. I'll give you some tricks, tips and everything you need to know coming up. Hey what's up guys, it's Mac here and we do a lot of tech related videos like this one. If this is your first time, consider subscribing. With that said, let's begin. If your webcam has autofocus, auto white balance and auto exposure, it can be annoying at times if you use it in Zoom, Google Meet, Facebook call or Skype. And you just want those auto features off. By default, this conference platform software doesn't have options wherein you can edit the settings of your webcam. Not until today. We're going to use a third-party software called OBS Studio version 26. So the first thing you need to do is to download OBS Studio version 26. Links in the description below. After downloading, obviously, we have to install it and run the program. One of the best features of OBS 26 is that it can detect your PC hardware and it can optimize the best possible quality for recording, streaming, but in our case, video conference calls. When you run this program for the first time, this window will pop up and will be asking you to specify what you want to use this program for. We're not streaming nor recording, so we'll choose for virtual camera only. Just click next, apply settings, and we are ready to use this program. Now go to sources, click the plus button, in the drop down menu, choose video capture device. Add whatever webcam you have, then press OK. Once you add your webcam, tweak your webcam settings in accordance to how you prefer. And apply, then press OK. Now that our webcam is ready, the next thing we need to do is to click start virtual camera. Now let's put this aside and open Zoom or whatever platform you're going to use this virtual camera for. Go to settings, video, and on the drop down menu option, choose OBS virtual camera. This will be basically the same with other platforms, assuming that you know where the camera settings is. Simply choose OBS virtual camera as your default camera. Now that we're done with that, let me show you how to improve your webcam capture quality. No matter how much you tweak your settings, you can never have a good video capture without a proper lighting. Use a softbox like this one or a more budget-friendly ring light like this one. Don't use a direct light since it will be too harsh. Make sure that the lights are soft and facing your left and right cheek for better emphasis of your face, which is the main reason for using a webcam in the first place. And lastly, if you want to go over the top, place an overhead lights like this one and some background lights pointed at your walls. This is just to make it more pleasing in the eyes, but not really necessary. Now that we're done with the lighting, let's start tweaking the OBS webcam configuration. Now go to sources, right click your webcam, choose properties, then choose configure video. By default, white balance, focus, exposure, and low light compensation is in auto, at least for the Logitech C922. For some webcam, it might be different. Manually configure those until you are satisfied. Take note that there is no standard settings for this, but your settings will depend on the color of your room and your room lighting. But just in case you have the same room color and lighting like mine, just copy the settings here and pause the video to get a better look. If you're wondering how I was able to switch from different camera angle and go to desktop and all in a video conference call, in the first part of this video, well, let me show you how. First, go to Scene section of OBS and click the plus button. Name a scene and click OK. In my case, I have made several scenes. I have two webcam and two monitors. In each scene, just add webcams plug in your PC and add the display of your monitor if you got several. You can play around with the options here if you like. And to switch, simply click the corresponding scene to make it appear in your virtual camera. Now go to your friends, families, and schoolmates and make them ask you, how did you do that? Well, you don't really need to teach them, just share this video to them and call it a day. So that's it guys, if you found this video interesting and helpful, make sure you give us a thumbs up and share it 
Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.